Hello, Munir Ajam. Uh, following up on the previous video, we were discussing the concept of do we see the need uh, or value in establishing a project management authorities at the national level in different countries around the world or maybe even at the state level. Uh, that was the main discussion of the previous uh, video. In this video, uh, I'm going to expand on the concept and said, okay, for example, what would be uh, part of the mandate for such an authority? The way we see this is that there could be more than one area of focus. The first area of focus, which could include the establishment of a center within the authority or a division or a department, uh, let's use the term division, for uh, developing the organizational project management system. Of course, we can do so by collecting information from the various government authorities and ministries and agencies to see what they're doing today, and then uh, maybe share, uh, establish common ground, identify what's missing, supplement what's missing, to complete uh, the organizational project management system, including the policies, guideline, governance, and uh, all else. In addition to this, part of the same department, there will be the establishment of methodologies that would be tailored to the different type of project. And when we say different type, we could mean the different domain, such as IT versus business versus uh, uh, real estate or capital investment, um, uh, customer service, regardless what type of project, and also based on size. For example, smaller size are different than larger or you know, small and simple project could be, could be quite different than large and complex project. So in this case, you know, the um, the method center, if you wish, or the this division will include developing the organizational project management system, including the tailored methodologies and the different KPIs and performance indicators that will have to be used to measure and to monitor performance of the different agencies. Uh, this would be uh, one kind of uh, mission. The other mission, it could be the creating a continual, ex, uh, continual improvement or continuous or center of excellence, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that would include uh, things like, uh, of course, maintaining statistics, which is also knowledge management and knowledge uh, economy uh, or the knowledge uh, management concept. Uh, which include, of course, the statistics, project files, uh, historical data, uh, organizational record, lessons learned. Of course, this could be centralized. You know, uh, they could be at the, each agency level. So there will be some of this information will have to be stored at the agency level, uh, ministry or, or, or government agency. But some things that would be useful to have a central repository for the country uh, as a whole. Uh, which would include things uh, that would be of value across organization that is not specific to a unique organization. So we have, um, in addition to this, uh, there could be some partnership with academia, there could be a partnership with other organization uh, in order to continually uh, develop and improve uh, performance of the government agencies in the area of project management. Other things they could include here, of course, publishing, uh, maybe a research and development division that include uh, publishing, maybe translating, um, uh, and other areas that will help a competence development framework, um, uh, professional development programs, maybe cross training, cross learning, assignments opportunities. There could be many other things to help develop, you know, first to, con to build the center of excellence and to continue updates and regular update in addition to research and development in addition to competence development again these things could be in one division uh, or they could be spread into more than one division another consideration could be certification yeah, i mean today many organizations depend on pmi or ipma or prince2 and these are actually interesting to reflect back on prince2 prince2 was developed as a concept by the uk government uh, so basically what we are saying is that we need government uh, to uh, uh, sorry, we lost power for a second. So we need governments to establish 
uh, why not? Why can't they establish their own unique certification uh, that is uh, specific to government project? Uh, and it could also be, uh, there could be some common uh, certification for all, all different type of project, maybe a foundation one and maybe a practitioner one. And then maybe there could be one that is also specialized, like, for example, uh, uh, business project versus capital project versus technology project. So we can have a different layer of certification. Again, uh, I'm not just throwing ideas here. A lot of this information we have written about and, uh, and we have various documents. Some of it is on our website. Some of it is uh, we're still keeping private. Uh, but basically, we are letting this concept out. I said, why not? Why can't we do this? So basically, and uh, maybe uh, uh, I should touch, uh, summarize what we've talked about so far. In the previous video, we focused more on the asking and general question about the government project and the need for national authority. In this video, we have talked so far about uh, that what could be the role and mandate of such an authority. One more mandate we touched on in the previous windows, but we did not elaborate on, is that the direct involvement of managing project. Like any project management department and organization, a project management department could have two roles. It could have the role of establishing the system, the policies, and the guideline, but they could also, ha also have an execution role. Now, at the government level, when we're talking about government, and especially you know, at federal level or maybe uh, large countries, that's hard to do. So ideally, what we are saying is that an authority would focus more on, on building capacity and the competence in the area of project management along with the governance and across all government agencies. That's one thing. That's in more of an authority role. Um, and the other part would be the implementation. Now, if the government want to be involved directly in implementation of project, there could be the possibility what some large, huge oil and gas companies have done in the past, which is creating a separate company, like a shared services company, uh, that would include, yeah, that would include direct management of projects. So basically, what we are in this case, government can decide what they want, and they can agree that project up a certain limit in size or complexity could be managed. You know, uh, they would be managed internally by each agency or ministry or government uh, office, whereas maybe certain large programs or project should be managed by shared services uh, directly. And this will be like, uh, like a PMC, like project management consultancy, uh, such as some of what uh, the international uh, operate and the international companies offer these services usually to government and to large mega project. Government could implement these things. Now, of course, this could become quite complex, but why not? It's a company like anybody else. Yeah. Uh, now, <sighs> I know people would ask the question and said, what's the value of this? Why do we need this? What problem are we trying to solve? Uh, well, apparently, uh, obviously, if we just look at back what happened at the U.S. just by uh, the law that was passed uh, before President Obama left office, is their, their law. They established a law for Program Management Accountability Act. So basically... Obviously, if there were not issues, why would there need to be a law requiring government and federal government in the U.S. to establish program management uh, operation guidelines, standard, whatever the case might be? So, um, is there a value on this? Let's leave it for the debate and the discussion. Um, we think so. Otherwise, we would not be talking about this. Um, we know there are research that shows government projects, especially infrastructure project, large project, mega project, uh, uh, project like Expos or Olympics. These and a lot of research at Oxford University um, by leading professors and academics on this topic. These project and program usually suffer big time, usually have significant overrun. Um, now, could a national project management authority and a national project management consultancy or a, a, an execution company or implementation company help solve some of these problems? Um, in theory, yes. Yeah. In practice, why not?
if we can do it and take our time to make sure we are building the right system with accountability and following leading global practices. Your opinion, what do you think? Thank you.